Hello everybody. So we are back with the latest tutorial. Simply just log into your account. So I've already logged in, and today we are going to tell you how to use this third option SMS from Action. So simply click here <coughs> on this tab SMS from Action. You will get this page, and with this page we have a three option. First one is uh, I want to upload only mobile number from Access Suite. So I have an image which you can refer for preparing your Access Suite. Same with these two and the third option. Uh, so second option for uh, the different number and different message, and third option also different number with different kind of dynamic placeholder and dynamic field. So for the same, I have created three files. As per these three images, here you can see the first file, which is having only the mobile number. Second file, I have mobile number and one of my the temp one of my template, which is already approved in my system. Third one also is the template, <coughs> which having four even five different uh, dynamic field, and accordingly I created this. <coughs> So in my dynamic uh, template, I have these five fields, which are dynamic name, <coughs> hospital, token, date, and time. So let's start with. Uh, I want to upload mobile number from the access suite. So select this option. Proceed. Choose the file. This is the file for the first option. Upload it. And then select the root. I would select transactional. Here I'll uh, e e either type the message or I can select the template. So I would go for the selection. I'll select this message and I'll hit save. So it's sent. So this message has been submitted and delivered. Uh, here you can see the report. So message has been delivered by using the first option. Now we'll come quickly go back to the uh, option called SMS from Excel, and we'll use the second option. So simply click here, then proceed. Choose the file. So the second file is there. Then upload. Now we have a two channel message channel transactional promotion. So I will go for go with transactional. I will keep the campaign name same. I can choose the sender ID which is which are approved. So here two sender ID are showing. I'll select SMS hub. Then I can see the number on which we are sending this message, and this message is counting 75 characters. So click here on this checkbox and hit send button. Uh, you can also schedule your message if you have a Hindi or other languages message. Then you can tick on this message. So just let 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 me click on this button. <coughs> yes, the message is in submit category. If I click on campaign report, the message has been delivered and I received the message. So this is how you can use the second option. Now we'll go back again on the same option SMS from action, and now we'll use the third option. So third option just before using this third option, I just wanted to show you something. Uh, I'll go back to the manage template option. Uh, I'm using this template. In this template, I have a name field which is dynamic. Then the hospital name is dynamic, token is the dynamic, and date is dynamic, and time is also dynamic. If I come to the uh, actual sheet for the third option which I created, same thing I mentioned in different different column. So for name dynamic field, I am using the name called Ganesh. For hospital dynamic field, I am using city hospital. For that dynamic field called token i am using different number i mean the token number is it is 8743 for the date called dynamic column uh, dynamic placeholder even i am using uh, date and the time as well so i just go back to the template page i have to copy this uh, before using this third option you need to prepare your excel sheet as i created uh, and you also need to copy the same message 
and then click on send sms choose the third option select this proceed now it's asking me to upload the same file so i'll upload the same file i select it and i upload it now we are on the page where we need to type the we need to choose the message type so the my message type is transactional i would keep the campaign name same uh, i'll use sender id sms up here is a very important uh, you know information which is in blue color you can read select column containing mobile number here you can see in the third sheet we have a mobile number in a column <coughs> and the heading is mobile number so i'll go back to the portal i select the mobile number which is in a column and i quickly paste the template now what we need to do uh, just check this sheet here we have a one two three four five different dynamic field okay and same thing you will see here one two three four five so let's replace these field with these dynamic field so simply delete and select first is name second is hospital make sure you delete uh, these two dynamics has and these two dynamics uh, please select as i am selecting i am not selecting any special character apart from these two dynamic field and their contain so let me just delete this one okay then the date delete it date then the time time so now we are ready to send this sms you can see how it will uh, how it was in actual sheet you can see this is the actual sheet which we have uh, uploaded but how it will look like when we will send this message on on, on any mobile so you can quickly click on preview uh, here the pop-up now here we can see this message will deliver on this number here you can see the all the dynamic field now uh, properly you know arranged like hi Ganesh it was earlier hi double hash name double hash and then the city hospital name token number everything is there and this message is counting 151 char character so I will close this pop-up I'll click on send and here we go so the message has been submitted if I click on campaign report message in still submit mode soon, very soon this message will deliver on my mobile okay so this is how you can use this option called SMS from Excel if you have any issue any query regarding this particular uh, option you can click here profile uh, here you can see your account manager name number and email id you can talk to them they will help you out if your account manager is not responding you can contact on support number and you can also mail us or support at smsindia.org so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching